Hi, welcome for our RTL online training. In this session, I'm going to explain you another important question from Oracle Fusion Cloud uh, payroll. Whenever we mention the payroll project in our profile, when we are saying that we have involved in uh, payroll implementation, we have to be careful with the legislation because depends on the country, the payroll setups are different. Payroll legislation rules and the statutory rules are uh, different from one country to another country. Like if you say, I have done implementation US payroll for client, then US legislation rules, we have to be clear. In the sense, deductions, earnings, calculation codes, elements, how the gratuity will be calculated. Okay, so these things are required. In the same way, it's a standard question they'll be asking us whenever we run the payroll, what are the processes will be running by default? Okay, so you work for any client, there will be a standard uh, payroll processes. So whenever we run the payroll, when we choose the legislative, for example, let me show you the sequence of payroll patterns. So we'll go for submit flow. I'm going to show you US payroll when we choose uh, US legislative data group here. We'll find the list of uh, payroll options here. And we are going to have this US simplified payroll. I'm going to choose US simplified payroll. The moment when we choose this payroll flow, payroll flow is nothing but a group of uh, payroll processes or reports uh, which we will be running. We can create a custom payroll flow also. For example, if we look at US simplified payroll cycle is provided by Oracle. It's a standard payroll flow. But some of the client says that we don't want some processes and we don't want some reports. Yes, we can create custom payroll flows and we can go for add the parameters also. Okay. So I'm mentioning that here, MRF uh, payroll flow cycle. And uh, let me choose the payroll as monthly payroll. We are going to choose and let me go ahead with particular period. And uh, consolidation group is not mandatory. I'm just running the regular payroll. And let me choose this uh, check is the payment method for EFT as well as for check. And after submitting, we'll come to know. There are around 20 payroll processes we'll be finding inside of our payroll cycle, like when we run this. They may not expect all the 20 payroll processes, uh, but important things they will be expecting in a sequence order. And we must know about each and every process and what exactly that process will do it. In the sense, uh, if it's a prepayment process, what it will do. Calculate payroll, what it will do. See, there are 20 processes. Out of that process, there are some reports and there are some standard processes we will find. And there will be some just verification. Verification in the sense, we'll just try to open the report and check and finally we'll say yes. Uh, no errors or no warning messages. That's what we are going to confirm manually, okay? So these are the processes we have to explain. So what we have to tell to the interviewer is when we are run the payroll, First system will check validation report for the payroll before the payroll is running. It's going to validate all the payroll information is there and verify that report. After that, a retroactive notification. If there are any retro pay options we have, then retroactive notification report will be executed and retroactive payroll will be done. Retroactive report will be executed. The main program is a calculate payroll. Calculate payroll. After that, a report will be generated, gross to net report. This is also important. And then it's going to verify the report. Then calculate prepayment and verify prepayment here. It's going to be verified prepayment. And uh, we are going to take backup archive periodic payroll result, a run payroll costing uh, results, and run payroll register report. Finally, we'll go for make EFT payments and uh, generate check payments, pay generate pay slips, view pay slips, and uh, finally run payment register report and transfer accounts to ledger, subledger accounting, SLA. Finally, we'll review the journal entries in 
GL. So this flows we have to remember. So they will expect like, okay, validation report for payroll and a retroactive notification report and calculate payroll and run grass to net report and then verify reports and calculate prepayments, very important. And after that verifying and uh, archive payroll result because uh, we have uh, executed the payroll, right? Periodic uh, payroll result and uh, run payroll costing result, run payroll register report. If we look at here, so far we have executed uh, the payroll, payroll we have done. So that payroll register report is there. Then we started payment, EFT payment, check payment, pay slips, verify pay slips. Now here we can see that uh, the payment register report. This is payroll register report. This is payroll register report. And this is payment register report. This is payment register report. Because we have done the payment, right? We made payment. After that, the payment register Earlier, we have executed the payroll that we can see the result in run payroll register report. Finally, the salary accounts needs to be transferred to GL. That should be done by using accounting key flux fill, right? So we will be having cost allocation key flux fill in our payroll module. It's a replica of our accounting key flux fill from general ledger. It means whatever the segments we have in GL, the same segments we will find here also, and there will be a mapping. Uh, all these salary accounts will be transferred there. And we are going to review this journal entries in general ledger. So whenever we say payroll implementer as a payroll functional consultant, these all processes and reports must be on our fingertips. And we are supposed to tell maybe one or, repo, one or two reports, even if you don't tell in the entry, it's not a problem. but. Uh, Validation report for payroll, retroactive, and finally calculate payroll, run gross to net report, calculate prepayments, then payroll costing, payroll register report, EFT check payments, pay slips, run payment register report, and transfer to general ledger. That's how we are supposed to explain for an interview. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe for my channel to get latest uh, interview questions, real time issues, and uh, Whatever the topics which I find in my implementation experience, I'll be sharing. Thank you.